Scikit-info allows you to do more than just search using free text terms. We also have access to the APA Thesaurus of Psychological Index Terms. These index terms are tagged to the papers when they come into the database and we're able to look up relevant terms to our topic and then search for papers that have had those terms attached. This allows us to put together a more comprehensive search. To do this, we'll click on the APA Thesaurus of Psychological Index Terms link. From there, we'll then type into the secondary search box one of our terms. Let's start with Cognitive Behavioural Therapy. We then see a list of results that the search believes may be relevant to our topic. We don't have Cognitive Behavioural Therapy, but we do have Cognitive Behaviour Therapy. If we click onto that, we'll get more information about the term. And it looks like that's the appropriate term in this case. We'll also see that there are narrower terms that sit underneath this particular term. And if we want to see papers tagged with any of those in addition to those tagged with cognitive behavioural therapy, we click explode when selecting the line. We then click add and the search terms will be added to our search box. When we're ready, we can then click the search button. And this will run a search for papers that are tagged with any one of these terms. Having done this, we'll then run our free text terms again, as we don't want to use exclusively index terms, but rather we want to combine them with our free text terms. Once we've run our free text terms for this particular idea, we want to group them together along with the index terms with an OR. To do that, all we'll do is clear our search boxes and then come down to our search history and select all of the lines that we have so far. After that, we'll click search with OR. Now, let's follow the same process for our anxiety term. We'll click on the link to the thesaurus at the top, type into the secondary search box, anxiety, and then click browse to see what our options are. Here, we have two terms that could be applicable, anxiety or anxiety disorders. So we'll click on one in turn, just to understand what each one covers. Now you'll see underneath narrower terms, you also have a related terms field. This tells us that anxiety is a term not directly related to anxiety disorders. So papers may be tagged with one or the other. And therefore, after we've run our search for anxiety disorders, we'll then go back and click on anxiety and run a search for that as well. With all the relevant terms added to our search box, we click on the green search button and this will run our search. Once again, we'll then add our free text term for this idea into our search box as we've done previously. We now want to combine together the group of terms that relate to anxiety and we'll do that by ticking the two lines in our search history, one for our index terms and the other our free text term, and clicking the search with or button. Finally, we'll want to group together the terms that relate to anxiety with the terms that relate to cognitive behavioural therapy, this time with an AND. To do that, we select the two lines that have been grouped together. In this case, that's S4 and S7. And then we say search with AND. We'll then need to go down and reapply the date range that we'd initially put in to reduce the number of results back to those that we thought would be relevant for us. And there we are, we now have 448 papers, more than we'd had 
by just using free text terms.